In this video, we are going to discuss the top five Discord bots for your Discord server. In the past, I've done a video on the top five utility bots, but I wanted to do a different style video for this one. Instead of just focusing on utility bots, I wanted to focus on all different types of bots. So I broke this up into different categories. We're gonna talk about the best utility bot, the best engagement bot, the best games bot, the best music bot, and lastly, the best productivity bot. Now there's a ton of really good Discord bots that are available, so it's hard to pick just five. So what I is throughout the video, I'm going to have kind of an honorable mention or two for each of these different genres of bots. So let's go ahead and dive into it. The first category that we are going to be talking about is best utility bot. If you've watched my content for a little while now, then you're probably familiar with this one. And that is going to be Sapphire. I talk about this a lot in my content because it's just hard to beat this bot. One of the biggest things about this is it is fully free to use, which in this day and age is very hard to find in a discord bot. I'm not kidding. If we look at this dashboard, every single feature that you can use on here all of the auto moderation stuff even including blocking invites blocking external links all of this stuff is completely free to use you don't have to pay a single dollar ever now there are a lot of other bots that do offer a lot of free stuff but the catch to it for example like DinoBot, another very popular utility bot you can do embedded messages with the bot for free however they only give you a limit of three once you hit three if you want to get more you have to pay now on sapphire if we come to the messages tab and we are to create a new embedded message you can see it you can have up to 100 different embedded messages completely for free now if you wanted to get more than 100 you will have to pay for increased limits however i highly doubt that anyone is going to actually hit the 100 limit for embedded messages now just to showcase a few other different features of sapphire offers obviously you have embedded messages as i've been talking about here i briefly touched on the auto moderation you have some advanced auto moderation here you've got message spam you can block mass mentions some of the bigger ones you can block all external links which is very cool um, you can block all discord invite links which is another really cool thing because it's a very common scam for people to just start spamming discord links if they get their account compromised you also have social notifications so if you are a content creator and you create content on youtube twitch or tiktok you can automate all three of these platforms for free and you can have you can automate up to five accounts for each of these three platforms for free you have your join roles so you can automatically give a role to a new user whenever they join you've got reaction roles you've got welcome messages for when a user joins leaves or when is someone boosts the server and then you've got a ton of different logging options here there is a lot of different things that you can do uh, as far as like audit logging if you're interested in learning more about sapphire or a few of the other bots i'm going to mention in this video that i do have prior content on i'm going to have links in the description that are more in-depth videos on all of these different bots if you are interested so if you want to learn a little bit more about sapphire i'll have some links in the description for you below now i mentioned that i was going to do honorable mentions throughout the video for some of these categories i do want to go ahead and give one for best utility bot and that is actually going to be to me six now the reason i don't recommend this to everyone is because if you want to utilize this bot whatsoever you have to pay every single feature on me six is basically now a premium feature i don't think there's a single thing that they offer that you can do for free besides like voice recording or something but no one's actually using that so that's the main reason that i don't recommend it but if you are serious about wanting to grow your discord server if you're a content creator anything like that and you plan to have your discord server for many years to come then me6 is a really good investment because they are really trying to push the bot right now literally all of this year i think since february or march they have been running a 50 percent off sale where you can basically get 50 percent off of the lifetime version of me6 meaning instead of having to pay 90 dollars, you only have to pay 45 dollars one time and you have the bot for your entire life we actually use me6 in my main community server it is the basically the sole bot that runs our entire server besides a handful of different niche things that i had someone custom create for me to help with some different issues but this is basically the main bot that we use across the entire server you can see if we just scroll down through some of these different options you have a ton of different things basically anything you would want to utilize a discord bot for you are able to do with me6 you've got all your reaction roles you've got your welcome and goodbye messages you've got all your auto moderation here you've got a leveling system 
You've got automations to be able to set up automated triggers for whatever, basically an if then statement. You've got a ticketing system. You've got embedded messages, obviously. You've got server stats, which also includes social statistics. So if you want to track the amount of subscribers you have on YouTube, Twitch, uh, followers on X or Twitter, Instagram, all of that stuff you can do here. You can automate all of these different social platforms. You have Twitch, TikTok, X, YouTube, Blue Sky, Reddit, Instagram, and Kick. And then you've got a birthday system, a giveaway system, an economy system as well. Now, Mi6 does have a bad taste in a lot of people's mouth because you basically can't use the bot unless you pay for it. But if you want a more in-depth and unbiased video going over Mi6 and if it's worth it for you or not, I'll have a video that I recently posted about a month ago in the description. Now, while we're on the topic of Discord bots, before we get into the next one, I wanna give a quick shout out to the sponsor of this video who actually offers a great Discord bot and that is WAP. WAP is a digital platform that allows you to monetize your Discord community. With WAP, you're able to set up your own digital storefront and sell access to multiple different tiers of memberships inside your Discord server. Everything is fully automated made with their discord bots so whenever someone subscribes they will gain the access to the premium side of your server or whenever their membership expires they will lose access automatically WAP has an absolutely insane 97 3 revenue share so they only take three percent leaving you with 97 percent of your revenue if you're looking to do more than just sell access to your discord WAP has actually recently launched their new app store allowing you to add any apps that any developers have made for WAP directly into your own you can do live streams on WAP you can host your own course on WAP the opportunities are pretty much endless with this new app store feature. WAP is super easy to set up and you can get started today by clicking the link at the top of the description. If you need a little more help, I'm also going to link a video that will show you exactly how to set up your own WAP store and integrate it with your Discord server. A big shout out to my long-term partners over at WAP. Now let's get back into the video. Now let's move on to the next category, which is best engagement bot. And that is going to go to a leveling bot named Arcane. Leveling systems are great tools for community servers, but to actually reap the full potential of these the leveling system bots you really need to get creative with it so if you aren't familiar with the leveling system let me show you in my server basically it is a bot that tracks users chat activity it has its own xp progression system the more a user chats they they gain xp and will progress through that xp and level system and eventually they will level up to new levels so you can see this user hit level one this user hit level two this user hit level three the cool thing about the bot is it can be set up to automatically reward someone with a specific role whenever they hit a certain level. So for example, this is for a server that I recently set up for a client. By the way, if you're interested in hiring me to create your Discord server, I will have my link below. But this is how we set up the leveling system. So basically when a user hits level five, they will receive a level five role. When they hit level 10, they'll receive a level 10 role, so on and so forth. You can add up to 15 of these fully for free with Arcane. That's one of the reasons I recommend it. Now, I mentioned that to reap the full potential, you really need to get creative with it. If you just have these different roles, sometimes people will want to be able, you know, chat more and actually want to get those higher roles and be listed higher up on the member list on your server. However, that doesn't motivate everyone. So some ways that you could get creative with this is maybe you could do exclusive giveaways and for users to actually enter to that giveaway, they have to hit level 25 with your leveling system. Anyone that hasn't hit level 25, they're not able to participate in the giveaway. If you're a content creator or a streamer, maybe you could do something like, hey, anyone that's hit level 30 with our leveling system, you will have the ability to be able to come and play a game with me on stream. Those are just a couple examples and they're probably not the best ones, but if you get really creative with it and come up with some actual rewards and incentives that actually make a user want to level up and spend time in your server chatting, then you'll definitely start to see the potential of what a leveling system can do. Next up, we have best game spot and I only almost didn't want to give this to a bot. And I'm going to talk about that, about why in just a minute, but I am going to still mention a bot and that is going to be Games Rob. Games Rob is a really simple, but very fun game bot that offers a lot of different, really classic games that you can play directly in Discord, like Hangman 2048, Uno, Connect 4, Minesweeper, Detective, Tic-Tac-Toe, Russian Roulette. There's a lot of cool stuff that you can do all directly inside your Discord server with this one bot. We used to play tic-tac-toe in my server with this bot a lot whenever we had it, and it was actually a lot of fun. And it's super easy to use. There's basically no setup. You just add the bot to your server, and then all you have to do, it has all the commands up here. The one con to this bot is it doesn't support slash commands, so you still have to use actual text commands like these, but it has all of the commands listed for you here on how to use each game. 
Um, so for example, you want to play tic-tac-toe, do G asterisk tic-tac-toe, and you'll be able to start playing a tic-tac-toe game. To give you an example of what this will actually look like in your server, when you run a command to play a game, it will go kind of like this. It's very quick, very easy. You can have members join the game, and then whenever enough members join the game, you just press the start button and you'll start playing inside your server. Now, the reason I said I was kind of hesitant to give this to a bot is because something that I think is even better is Discord's activity feature. If you aren't aware, whenever you join a, a voice channel inside Discord, and you don't even have to be in a voice channel, you can do a lot of them through just the text channel, but you will have this button down here at the bottom left that says start an activity. If you click that button, it will give you a bunch of different games that you can play. And a lot of these are actually very, very cool. You can play Gartic Phone directly inside Discord. You don't have to go to a website. If you've ever, if you're familiar with the board game Settlers of Catan, you can play that directly inside a Discord voice channel. You've got Crunker Royale, you've got Poker, you've got a basically um, a Minecraft version. I don't know where it is, it's called Blocks.io, but you've basically got Minecraft that you can play directly inside Discord. There is a lot of really cool games that you can play. You have a putt party game where it's basically like mini golf. There's a lot of really cool games that you can play inside Discord without, you don't need bots to do any of these. So if I wanted to play one of these, I literally just launch it and uh, it'll it'll load up the game and I can play it right here. I'll have to authorize it with my Discord account, but I will be able to play this game directly inside this voice channel and I can just start playing with anyone that's in the voice channel. This is a really slept on feature that I highly recommend checking out if you ever wanna host a game night inside your server. Next up, we are going to talk about the best music bot and I am going to give that to Flavi Bot. Now, unfortunately, no, Discord bots are able to pull music from YouTube anymore because of a few years ago, they basically filed a cease and desist to all these bots, but you can still pull from Spotify, Apple Music, Tidal, SoundCloud, and Deezer, whatever Deezer is. It's not a complex bot. It's very simple to use. All you have to do is once you add it to your server, if you join a voice channel, then you can run the command slash play, and then you type in the name of a song. So if we wanted to just do this Michael Jackson Thriller song, we can do this. I'm going to go ahead and deafen so I don't get copyrighted, but you can see the bot will join the voice channel and start playing the music right away. And you can see it pulled it from Spotify this time. It's got nice little buttons down here for quick access control. If you wanna pause the song, you can click that one. You can skip the song, stop the song, all that good stuff right from those button controls there. Now I do wanna give a honorable mention for this music bot category, and that is actually going to go to Lo-Fi Radio. Now this isn't an on-demand music bot, but what this bot is, if you're familiar with Lo-Fi music, it's basically a bot, I can actually play this because I won't get copyrighted for this music. It's basically just a bot that sits in this voice channel 24 seven and plays this really chill Lo-Fi music. So that is the cool thing about this bot is it's not an on-demand bot where you can play any song you want, but it will just sit, and once you assign it to a voice channel, it'll just sit inside this voice channel 24 seven and constantly play this lo-fi music for all your members. Definitely a cool bot that I would recommend checking out. Last but not least, we have our best productivity bot, and that is going to go to TicketSpot. TicketSpot is a ticket system bot. If you're not familiar with what that is, basically a ticket system allows you to a user to create a private channel inside your server that is only accessible by your moderators, your admins, or any other role that you give access to be able to be a support manager for those tickets. To give you a great example, I'm actually gonna show you my freelance server where I do use this Tickets V2 bot basically to run my entire freelancing business out of this Discord server. All a user has to do whenever they want to get in contact with me, they just click this order now button and what that does is it will create them a private channel that is only visible by them and me. And then they can jump in here, they can chat with me, they can tell me the details that they need for their server that I'm going to create and we can get to work. Now, obviously this may not be the use case that you would use this for, but if you're running a general server for your community, you could have different options. Like in my main server, I have a general tickets for anyone that might want to report a user for a suspicious activity. Any brands that wanna reach out for sponsorships, they can use this option. Anyone that that's interested in having to hiring me to create a server, they can use this option here. One of the reasons I really like TicketSpot is because their UI and interface on their dashboard is super clean and super easy to use. And they also offer up to three panels that you can set up for free. If you're interested in learning how to set up these ticket systems, I actually have a video on this bot that I will link down below if you want a more deep dive and visual on how to set this up. And there you have it. That is my recommendations for the top five Discord bots that you should add into your 
your server. If you enjoyed, be sure to drop a like to help spread this video to others and consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any of my future Discord content. If you're interested in continuing the discussion any further, I will have the link to my main community server, discord.gg slash gesture down in the description for you. Feel free to join up. We have a dedicated Discord help channel in the server where you can come and ask any questions related to Discord and try to get some help for your server. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next one. Peace.